See around me? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just tell me to move out of the way. If I, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm sure most all of you know where Madagascar is off the south, the uh, east coast of Africa, across from Mozambique. What most Americans, anyway, don't realize is that it's a huge country. It's the fourth largest island in the world. It's about uh, the same land surface area as the country of France. And it hasn't always been there through the, the, the millions of years and continents and land masses have shifted. This is actually about 200 million years ago. Madagascar was between the continent of Africa and what we know today is India. And over the millions of years, uh, Madagascar moved, separated from Africa with India uh, connected. But it's been pretty much where it is today for 80 million years, and that's really important. You know, in the meantime, India's slowly moving northward, running into the Asian continent, and still pushing up what's the Himalaya mountains today. Um, so why is that important? It's important because what it means is that a lot of the plants and animals in Madagascar are endemic. They're unique to Madagascar. They exist nowhere else in the world. So about 85% of them, actually, the plants and animals of Madagascar exist nowhere else in the world. And then you have different biomes within Madagascar. It's not the same across the whole island. You get everything from rainforest to, to spiny desert. So you get animals that are, and plants that are different in every one of those biomes. And the rainforest on the east coast three meters of rain a year, so lots of moisture. It's just pretty much jungle. The central plateau is made up of prairies and, and savanna. The west is deciduous dry forest. The leaves come off the trees during the dry season, and it's dominated by baobab trees. The spiny desert in the south is, is a there are entire families of plants that are endemic. It looks like another planet. And then there are other areas. This is a Ishalu National Park in the, in the southern central highlands where you find these really unique uh, Bismarckia savannas and uh, many endemic species here as well. And you may have heard of what the Malagasy called Tsingi which is uplifted limestone karst formations, which was formerly ocean bed that has been geologically uplifted over the millions of years and then eroded into these crazy pinnacles and canyons and caves. They're very, very unique areas. But in all these different areas, there are lemurs and there are, there are other unique plants and animals in, in every one of these areas. So not only do you get high levels of endemic species, but you get a lot of diversity in some species like the biobobs. Most of the world's species of biobobs, six of the eight species, come from Madagascar. Madagascar has three times the number of palm species as the entire African continent. Over, well over half the species of chameleons in the world come from Madagascar down to that. That's a full adult chameleon on that guy's thumb. That's as big as they get, the brachysia. And then, of course, lemurs. Lemurs exist in one place in the world, and that's, that's Madagascar. And they're a fascinating story in and of themselves. Um, I wish I had about an hour to talk about that, but I, but I don't. But ancestral lemurs somehow got across from Africa 60 million years ago and evolved into what is now a hundred, over a hundred species of lemurs in Madagascar. Everything from the smallest primate, the tiny mouse lemurs that are the size of a mouse that eat insects and come out only at night to loud um, black and white rough lemurs, these are the lemurs, this is the lemur species we heard calling a minute ago, the black and white rough lemurs, to ring tail lemurs, we'll see some of these later on our tour, and bamboo lemurs, which 
they're just like little panda bears. They're eating nothing but bamboo. And I need as as the population grows, there are now 25 million people in in uh, Madagascar. And uh, so these people have a very large to humans as well. I mentioned the predators and, and lemurs are eaten as bush meat and uh, sold in, in cities as well. Mining is another, um, is also a, a problem. This is gold mining going on here. People are digging three meter deep shafts and many dollars worth of gold a day and for them that's enough to live on. 17 species of lemurs that we know about that have gone extinct and some pretty unique species. If you look at this image on the right, that's a gorilla, female gorilla skull next to an extinct thing, a fossil, fossilized egg of an epiornis or elephant bird. This was the largest bird that that ever lived, it was about over three meters in height. And the egg holds the same, about the same volume as 10 or 12 ostrich eggs to give you an idea of how large this bird was. Went extinct probably only three, maybe 300 years ago after humans arrived on the island. So that's a little bit of the background. And so what